Hello people sitting there, how's it doing? Today I have a kind of confession that's supposed to make. And why I never showed my face like this back a year ago, let's just say. Because I'm going to put it very straight, there's two points to this. And I'm going to try and explain it. So basically, as you can see, you probably can see by even just looking at my face, I have acne. I have acne. I have for the last few years and... You know, when you have acne, you're just like, I'm ugly, I'm useless and terrible looking and all that which is would you you would not be wrong but in saying that would but uh you know you're afraid of people calling your names because more torture more than getting hit with a pencil this is a wooden pencil i use and i carry around that is, is very heavy like if somebody flung this at my eye and it stuck straight into my eye that would i would rather have that than get called an absolute horrendous name. You're absolutely tra trapped, let's just say. And you're the daughter of the earth and all. I'd say somebody called me that. And like that, I'd rather get stuck in the eye with a pencil than be called that. Because, because the reason why too, I was, as I said, I'm afraid of people making fun of my appearance. Like I never made fun of anybody's appearance. Never in a million years I haven't made fun of anybody's appearance. I never criticise anybody. Like, I always believe that people can wear what they want and when they want. As long as it's not to a funeral or wearing your underpants to a funeral. Like, that's unacceptable, to be honest with you. But, uh, I... And the second reason I'm going to just Spain, because people criticised me when I was making, starting off making political videos, that I was terrified to show my face. To face the corruption head on, to face people head on, to face politicians, to face TDs, to face everybody head on. And I'm here now, I'm criticising them, and still, and they hide away now in the back of the, the bus, like uh, the cowards they are. But um, I'm just putting it out there that I do not fear any politicians, and that's really as simple as that, because I'm here, I'm doing my job, I'm doing my country's job, I'm doing my patriotic duty in making people aware of what's happening in the country, and Opening people's eyes to what's happening. And they could criticise me all I want for my looks and all that. But I'm telling you straight to everybody. That really did annoy me back six months ago, let's just say that. Seven months ago, maybe. That really did annoy me. That annoyed me. Sure, they show my face and all that. Like, if you go back to back a year ago, you would never, maybe once or twice you see me with my face. But it would be covered, like, nearly like this. But I'm not afraid to really take off my cap and show. It is bad. My acne is pretty bad. Especially up around my head. But uh, I know it's probably disgusting to some people and I really do apologise for it. If I ever do cause any distress, people look at my face because I know some people what the box me in the face for. But, um, you know, we have to try and understand people. Like, I'm coming out and saying it. And you can hear no fear in my voice now because I'm just like... I'm saying this straight out as it is, and I'm not going to fear anybody for what anybody says. Because I would not criticise you. Say if you had a big pepper on your nose, I would never criticise you for it. I would never even ask you a question how you got it or where you got it from. Because I would understand, and I would understand you don't want to talk about it. I would understand, and that's what, what people do. Try and understand. People with acne in any part of your body, I notice people with acne down the back and everything. I don't have that. I have it on my face mostly. But uh, just to say, never f in when I was in national school I started getting acne, which was a long time ago, and I used to cover my face. I used to literally get a coat and cover my face as much as I could. Like literally that's probably all you could see. And looking back at that now, I think to myself, so what else? What else if people thought you were a freak? What else? Because you know yourself that you're a person. You're a person with your own identity. You're a person who has their own feelings, emotions, and so on and so forth. You have a right to be the way you are. It's not your fault that you have acne. Nobody say, nobody, you didn't ask for acne. You didn't ask for it, you know. Like, it's not something you wake up and you ask for one day in your Christmas shopping list. Like, you have, I'm just saying this straight out, like, it's not. It's very okay. To have acne, it's very okay. No, there's nothing wrong with it. It's always good to admit it, because I took so so long to admit it, and I was terrified, even showing my face and this and that and all that. Like, 
and long as as I always say in every video, always be nice. That's because it always comes back to back by 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 bite you in the backside, which is a thing I learned the hard way. Let's just put it that way. So, one thing whatever the takeaway is, if you have acne, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of what Johnny over there takes or Mary over there takes. Because they go around, you never know what they could have on their back in two or three weeks from the time they criticise you. They could have a full back full of acne. Full back full of blackheads and spots. And that would be their comeuppance. Like they have to think about that before they're able to criticise somebody. Good. And then you'd be able to criticise them if you can see it. Because, but I wouldn't criticise them because they learned their lesson by looking at it. Simple as that. So, as I said, I'm, I'm, the second reason was I was afraid of... Well, I wasn't really afraid of... I just was happy to show my face. So, and politicians, people criticised me for being cowardly and afraid to show my face and face politicians face to face. I'm here now. I'm facing them face to face. End of story. <laughs> like, just my face there, like, end of story. Um, but, yeah. If it's a lot, it's a lot of weight off your chest, just to admit it. But, um, as I always say, I can't say this enough. Don't be afraid. Words are hurtful. I, under I really, really do understand that to be for people. But your pride and your joy is worth more than their joy in annoying you and upsetting you. Because think of the joy you could have when you get rid of them, and they have it, let's just put it that way, because at some stage they will have an awful pit bull or something on their face, so uh, black boy or whatever, whatever what they call it, and they get their comeuppance, that's what happens in life, people get their comeuppance for judging other people, and it's all, and believe me, I have seen it so, so many times, I've seen people criticise people for people's hair, like when I was younger, my hair, Used to go a tiny bit white here, here, and around here, and he used to call me old timer. And now you, them three people who call me old timer, have fire, have fire hair. Like literally, the whole hair here was nearly just white, and it's the same place where I had it. Like it's a joke, and they didn't even, they didn't even, they just woke up one day and had it. And I, I told them the, when the staff that you were going to come up in some of these days and they did get the, it took two or three years afterwards, but they got the come up in the end. And still to this day we have a great laugh, but at least we were able to laugh about it, I suppose you could say. But I didn't take you for watching. As I said, never feel about showing your face. Never feel. Because you're your own individual person. And your pride and your dignity is more important than anything else, than what people take you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more. And, and my pen's gone. <laughs> no fucking pets, no pen.